What's going on, Saints fans? It's Mitch here of The Bottom Line View, here to give you my record prediction for the New Orleans Saints in 2022, going game by game, matchup by matchup, determining how I believe they will fare this season. How many games will the Saints win? Which matchups are going to be tough? Which matchups are going to be easy? And ultimately, will they make the playoffs? If that sounds good, don't forget to gronk, spike the like button, and subscribe to the channel for more BLV NFL record predictions just like this, including the rest of the NFC South. Also, get in the comment section below and let me know how you feel the Saints will perform in 2022. Great? Bad? Somewhere in between? Will they get back to the playoffs? Let me know in the comment section below, and let's pick some games. Saints fans, it's time for your record prediction for the upcoming 2022 NFL season. The Saints, it's an interesting team this year. A loaded roster on both sides. Improved offensively, defensively still very strong and added some nice pieces to the back end of your defense. New coaching staff, new head coach, Dennis Allen steps in for... The great Sean Payton, which will definitely take a toll on this season, I believe. Another year removed from Drew Brees, Jameis Winston coming back from the injury, hopefully can stay healthy. You brought in Andy Dalton for the potential backup spot. Taysom Hill no longer playing quarterback. So it will be interesting to see how the Saints maneuver this season and how they play. Now, I look at the Saints as a team that can just about beat anybody, but lose to anybody as well, given the inconsistencies of the potential quarterback situation, and then also the unknown of what a Sean payton list Saints team may be. So let's begin with this Saints-Falcons matchup, which will take place in week one, Atlanta hosting the Saints. I've got Atlanta losing. <laughs> I've got the Saints winning the game. But I will say this. Atlanta is an NFC South foe, a division rival, and stranger things have happened in week one. We know this, right? So just be aware that that could be a crazy game. Week two, you play the Bucs. You have owned the Bucs as of late, especially since Tom Brady has gotten there. Your coaching staff just coaches circles around them every single time. And without Sean Payton, I will say it might be a little bit different. But Dennis Allen has been the main reason why. So I'll take the Saints at home to win that game. Week three, you play the Carolina Panthers in Carolina. Another game where I'll say three division rivals in a row. It's probably unlikely that you beat all three in a row, just to be honest. But I'm going to take you to do it. I'm going to take you to win all three in a row. Because Sam Darnold, I just don't trust him even at home, in a game against a strong defense. I just don't. Week four, this is where your first loss comes. You guys just suck against the Vikings. As much as you own the Bucks, you suck against the Vikings. Strange things happen against the Vikings. Strange calls happen against the Vikings. So, I'm going to take the Vikings. Kirk Cousins finds a way once again. Week five, the Seattle Seahawks. You should easily win this game. I think Jameis Winston should be able to have success against their defense. At home, it will be a different atmosphere than it was a year ago where it was kind of like rainy and in Seattle, it was like a tight Monday night game, I believe, that was kind of boring. I could see the Saints defense dominating Geno Smith or Drew Locke on their way to a victory there. Week six, you play the Bengals. I'm going to say the Bengals pick up that win because of all their LSU players that they have. So it's kind of a homecoming for Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. And that's my reasoning behind that game. Week seven, you play the Arizona Cardinals in Arizona. I think this is tough. I think this is a tough game to win because it's a short week. You just played a tough game against the Bengals. And then you play in Arizona against a really good quarterback in Kyler Murray, who's better than your quarterback, in my opinion. And even though I think you've got the better roster, I think traveling on the road on a short week is always difficult. So I'm going to say the Cardinals win a tight one, okay? Week 8, you play the Raiders, who I'm pretty high on this year as a potential AFC playoff team under Josh McDaniels. 
but I do think the Saints are one of the few defenses that can match up well with the Raiders, and on top of that, I think the Raiders are going to be a heavily offensive powered team where their defense can be susceptible to giving up some points, so I think Jameis can have one of his good games here at home and win that game. I think you guys match up pretty well with the Baltimore Ravens. It's a Monday night game. It's at home again. It's a rowdy atmosphere when you get in prime time, you guys. You know that. And I feel like your defense can slow down Lamar Jackson and that running game with how good your run defense has been in the past. I do worry about how you defend running quarterbacks. So that could be an issue. So maybe I'm wrong about that. But... I don't know, man. I just feel like at home, Monday night, that is just always a chance for an upset. And I do believe this would be an upset, but I'm going to take the Saints. Week 10, you play the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh. I'm going to say you win that game, maybe? I don't know. I'll come back to that. That one's interesting because it's just Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh, good, good defenses, kind of going to be a tight defensive game. I'll go back to that one in a sec. You play the Rams then the Niners, then the Bucks. This is the stretch I want to focus on. This is a really difficult stretch. Like really from the, I mean, really from the Bengals until your bye week, you play a bunch of good teams. Like rather playoff teams last year or teams that I think are going to make the playoffs this year. Really, right? The Bucks made the playoffs. The Niners made the playoffs. The Rams made the playoffs. The Steelers made the playoffs. The Cardinals made the playoffs. The Bengals made the playoffs. The Raiders made the playoffs. The only team that didn't make the playoffs last year was the Ravens, and they'll probably make it this year. So that's a really difficult stretch of games. So I think any of you that is expecting a huge boost in victories might be a little bit off just given how tough this schedule is. Uh, but when you look at it, I think overall, I'm going to go with the Saints losing to the Rams. Do I want to say they beat the San Francisco 49ers? I'm going to say you beat the Steelers, you beat the Niners, and you lose to the Bucs. I think the Bucs finally beat you guys. They're due for one Monday night at home. They're due for one there. I think that's a big Tom Brady game. So I'm going to say they beat you there. And then you go to the bye week. I've got you losing to Atlanta. I don't know why you guys always lose to Atlanta in New Orleans, but there's something about that, or at least you have recently. Uh, Atlanta's not very good, so you could easily win that game, but I just have a weird feeling about that one. And then week 16, you play the Browns. I'm guessing it will be with Deshaun Watson. If it's not, I think you win, but if it is, I'll take the Browns. Week 17, you play the Eagles. You guys suck against the Eagles and Jalen Hurts. So I'll take the Eagles at home. And then I'll take you to beat the Panthers in week 18. So overall, I have you at 9-8. and eight. Now, could I see you being better than that? Yes. I could see you at 10-7. and seven. I think the best I could see you is 11-6. and six. And the worst I could see you is maybe 7-10 and 10 at the worst. But I think the most realistic is 8-9. and nine between eight and nine and 10 and seven. That's kind of where I see it, right? Because I think Jameis Winston is at best an average quarterback. And when you have an average quarterback, you're kind of a liability to lose some upsets. But then also with the amount of talent that you have, I think that you're also a team that can match up with a lot of the best teams in the NFL and upset them like Tampa Bay, for example. So th this is a tough schedule as I went through it. And I think it's nine and eight is pretty realistic, but I do have you making the playoffs this year instead of missing the playoffs this year. And that's where I land on the Saints is a wild card team in 2022 and a pretty darn good one. Um, I think you're going to give a lot of teams a lot of fits, but just going through the schedule, I really wanted to give you 10 or 11 wins, but this is just a really tough schedule. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's Mitch. Appreciate you watching. And we will see you in the next video. Peace.